Hi, Hazel Mills here. This is how you can get creative with sequence-based performance using the UDO Super 8. Record your basic sequence on the lower layer by ensuring that you are in sequence mode, that sequence record is on, and that the track button is on step. These 16 buttons will represent each step in the sequence, and there are four pages or groups of 16, meaning that there are 64 steps in total. To record in your sequence, press the button that represents step one and play. Each chordal note as you play it will sequentially be assigned to each step. However many steps you play will be the length of that sequence. Now we switch it on. To play over the top of this using the upper layer, ensure that your split point is somewhere that allows you plenty of range within that layer. Hold the split button and press the key that you want to be the lowest note of the upper layer. This means now that the entire keyboard is representing the upper layer, but we can still play our sequence. Why don't we try an arpeggiator over the top? Let's get even more out of this one sequence and make it much more interesting. Firstly, we'll focus on the track button where we can tie some notes together using the slide function. We can accent certain notes, which makes them slightly louder than the rest. alternative way to record your sequence in is to do it not sequentially but by determining your length first of all. So I'm on page two and I've hit the last button so that means we've got 32 steps. You can go to any individual step and record something in. We could do something slightly unpredictable. So if you go back to step mode we can go to any of these steps and record something in, a note or a chord.
way to make it easier to manipulate the sound of both layers as you're performing would be to make use of firstly the mod wheel and also an expression pedal can be very useful because you can be manipulating the sound of one layer on the synth itself whilst also say opening and closing a filter with your foot for the other layer.
For further flexibility with your sequence, you can transpose it in real time if you take it out of sequence record mode. Let's do two at the same time then. 